innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Colder temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go-to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey, and we are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent like most of you are, and uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that'd be a 
auto accident or trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak NERD. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Hmm. Huh. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. 
Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Come on over to AG Pizza, where you can experience our new specials every week from Friday to Saturday. You can book a private event or party in our upstairs area and enjoy our outdoor heated patio all year round. Make sure you try our new seasonal drink and cocktail menu and take advantage of our catering and delivery services. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Colder temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go-to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. 
Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey, and we are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent, like most of you are, and uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that be a auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Third down to give, Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over 1,000 oh. yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down! Don't be in wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. Can he break his record? Kenzie oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 oh. wins it. Did to you last year, you get them at home. And we're also pumped and happy to like. Head up the head tonight on more Sussex. Sports live broadcast here on YouTube. We're live at Skylands Ice World in Stockholm, New Jersey, where it's currently 42 degrees outside. And before we get into the start of our game today, uh, it is the Newton Lenape Valley Senior Night. So we're going to bring you live coverage of the Senior Night festivities here before the start of this game.
to run a full contact roller hockey league. All right, everyone, welcome back. It was a beautiful senior night ceremony here for Newton Lenape Valley. We're gonna have warm ups, and in a few minutes, we're gonna bring it back to you with our starting lineups and our pregame introductions. We'll see you in just a few minutes here on Garden State Sports. At Planet Networks, our high speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Hmm. Oh. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown.
Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Come on over to AG Pizza, where you can experience our new specials every week from Friday to Saturday. You can book a private event or party in our upstairs area and enjoy our outdoor heated patio all year round. Make sure you try our new seasonal drink and cocktail menu and take advantage of our catering and delivery services. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to live broadcast here on Garden State Sports. We're live from Skylands Ice World in Stockholm, New Jersey, where it's currently 42 degrees outside. Our game time temperature is brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all of your comfort needs. And this afternoon, we're bringing you live varsity ice hockey action between Newton Lenape Valley on their senior night and the Gil St. Bernard Knights. Newton comes into this game in first place in the Charette division, while GSB comes in in second place in the Haas division. NLV is 9-5 overall and 5-1 and in the division, whereas GSB is 7-3-1 overall and 6-2-1 in their division. Both teams coming off of wins. Gil St. Bernard's has won their last two. NLV came, coming off a win against Milburn. And uh, I'm here with my color partner, Mackenzie Rivera, and on camera is Jesse Londino, and our producer today is Kelly Barta. Mackenzie, what do we expect to see from this matchup this afternoon? I think this game's going to be a highly competitive game, you know, with Newton being the first in the Charette division. I think it will give them a forecast into what they're looking into next year. Gil St. Bernard seems to be doing pretty well in the Haas division, though. That they do. We do have a couple of uh, lineup notes today that uh, top scorer for Gil St. Bernard's Julian Tramontano is not in the lineup. Uh, He had a club commitment this afternoon, as well as top scorer for NLV, Max Pastic. So... You're going to have some other players that are going to have to step up here today for both squads. Yeah, most definitely. You know, it's going to look very interesting without their top scorers here. No doubt. But both goaltenders, you know, I'm sure are happy that the top scorers are not out there. However, both goaltenders today uh, are are quality goaltenders. Luke Jansen comes into this game with a 9-11 save percentage, whereas Ryan Salerno, an 865 save percentage on the season. Uh, despite the fact that, you know, top scorers are out, they're still going to face, I'm sure, some quality chances. GSB has a short bench, and LV has a deep bench. So, you know, it, it's going to be tough out there for the Knights. Yeah, you know, it definitely evens out the game a little bit ha- with GSB having a shorter bench. However, I think, you know, if they know their plays well enough, it'll pose a lot of competition for Newton. Absolutely. Thank you for that wonderful insight, McKenzie. Just want to mention that today's game is sponsored by Gil St. Bernard's. Why choose Gil St. Bernard's? More than just the tagline. Our mission is to provide a balanced, diverse, and secure community that prepares students academically, socially, and ethically for college and a meaningful life and is a living reflection of who we are and the values that inform our daily interactions. Visit gsbschool.org. Today's game is also sponsored by Newton Lenape Valley Ice Hockey. And we're just about done with warm-ups here. Kids are going to clean the pucks out of the net as the officials check them to make sure there's none stuck in there. And then we'll get set with our first period. So, Mackenzie, we were just talking off air a little bit. Uh, you started refereeing hockey this year, is that correct? Yes, I did. I'm level one right now. For USA Hockey, right? Yep. And you're enjoying it? Very much so. You know, I don't think anybody like understands how much respect they should be actually giving these refs out here today. Just coming from like mites and everything like that, that's already like you're watching so much stuff. And here's some high school refs, you know, not to mention we have both teams here. I think Newton has a pretty good student section today. The, what they receive at some high school games, it's crazy. That it is, that it is. 
I was an official myself for about 10 years, and uh, so I'm kind of used to wh what you're talking about. And uh, I only wish you the best in your officiating career. It can be a, a wonderful and enjoyable experience, and I hope it is for you. Thank you. So once again, we're about to get set here. NLV looking to go to 10 and five overall with a victory here. I'd like to mention that Coach Sevilla, uh, Newton's last game, he was able to garner his 200th victory as a high school varsity head coach. And NLV as a program now is nine wins away from 200 in their program history. So looking to get a little closer to another milestone and just about set to try and do so. Hey, if you like this broadcast, please subscribe. Our hopes that if you're liking our telecast in New Jersey Scholastic Sports, you'll help us out by clicking the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and going live when, and hitting that notify bell so you know when we go live. Here we go at the start of the first period. GSB controls the opening faceoff. They'll go D to D. Move up ice. Trey Sanford dumped it in. NLV now comes up ice with speed through the neutral zone. Cuts in the middle. That was David Pineda. Jansen covers up. We'll get a face off to his left. Well, NLV with a short shift here for that opening lineup. And Ty Delker will come in and take the face off here. Puck moved up the wall. Tried to keep it in, but cannot. Brendan Whiteley moves it into the NLV zone. Behind their own net, NLV moves it up the wall. Not out, kept in at the point, and moved in by Porter Clark. Porter Clark, shot just wide. Comes all the way around to the far point. Good keep by GSB. Out into the slot. Shot on goal is blocked by Gaboda. Gaboda will fire it around. His winger's not there. Taken over by GSB. Shot from the top of the circle. And a good save by Salerno. And LV now looks to move out. Out to neutral ice. They gain the red line. Offsides at the blue line. Martin Murphy. And Kendra Smith. A little miscommunication there, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, most definitely. Kendra was just a tad ahead of Murphy on the rush there. Off the face off. NLV moves it up. Porter Clark now for GSP. Clark with a little bit of speed moves around the right. Gains a red line. Now the offensive zone. Long range shot, easily gloved. Salerno with two early saves here. Uh, face off to his left. Off the draw, it's in some skates. Now it comes out, a potential break for NLV. Good poke check by Porter Clark. Dabrowski now in the slot, has room, shoots! And a good save by Jansen. He saw it all the way there, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, watching him, he knew where he was gonna go. He knew he was gonna take that shot before he even took it. And you can see it on the replay here. Porter Clark with a nice poke, couple of poke checks there. NLV got a break there, and Dabrowski ends up with the puck. And a clear shot, Jansen saw it all the way. Off the faceoff, NLV controls. Dumps it in deep, Porter Clark now, slowly moves up. Looks for some space and someone to pass to. Cross ice pass, couldn't complete it to Michael Teague. Excuse me, Michael Ty. Now back over to Clark, again to Ty. Ty now, in the slot, met by the defense of NLV. Tried to get it clear, they cannot. Puck bouncing around in the slot. It's like Michael Ty with it now, along the left side boards. Back out to Porter Clark. Clark, nice toe drag, shoots, shot his block, gets it back, shoots again. And a good save by Ryan Salerno. 
The senior defenseman Porter Clark for GSB is so far having a good start to this game, Mackenzie. Yeah, most definitely. You know, you watched him take it up the ice there a little bit ago. He definitely has a more of a long range shot. Didn't want to get too close. Felt his accuracy was more right as long range. GSB controls the draw. They go D to D. Dumped in deep by Sanford. Comes all the way around. A good hit along the boards. However, GSB keeps it in, keeps it deep. Now NOV controls, tries to get out. Puck is picked off by Whiteley. Whiteley shoots, and it's a goal! GSB takes a 1-0 lead that looks like Blinkoff finished it off on the shot by Whiteley. Blinkoff, right place, right time there on the doorstep, McKenzie. Yeah, definitely, you know, watching back door, especially as a defenseman, one of the most important things you can do, leaving that open is a very dangerous move. Yeah, you can see both defensemen got sucked in by the puck and left him all alone to finish off the shot. Puck comes back to GSB. Sanford up to right wing. Centering feed. Intercepted by NLV. They get it in. Good battle along the boards. And it's dumped in deep by Vince Mancuso. Sanford now with it behind his own net. Surveys the situation, moves it up along the right wing. Hits the official, but makes it to the right winger. Another pass, incomplete. NLV having some trouble on the break out there. And we're just gonna go back and forth a little bit here in the neutral zone. NLV on the attack now. Intercepted. Looking for somebody to pass it to in the slot. Goes out to the point. However, Murphy had not yet gained the zone. And NLV will have to regroup and regain the zone. Panita couldn't get it in. Good poke check by Sanford. Murphy now on the puck. Murphy gains the red line. Looks for room to skate. He's got it. Looking for somebody in the slot. Doesn't have it. Circles around. Back into the slot. And Jansen covers up as the pass was deflected. Zap. In the slot, looking for a loose puck. It's one of the most like important places you could be in the spot, looking for a rebound. Without that, I mean, your goals would be maybe half of what you can get. Senior captain, Justin Zapp, loses the draw. GSB controls. Michael Ty had it taken away. Almost on goal, but now Porter Clark takes it away. Goes cross ice. Good poke check at the blue line. Zap now has it. It's taken away from him. However, it's offsides on GSB. And we'll have a face off with 10.35 to go just outside the NLV zone. A one nothing game. GSB has four shots to NLV's three. Michael Ty thrown out of the faceoff circle. NLV controls. Off of the stick, but now out. Trey Sanford now for GSB, moves it in. Sanford being harassed. Good shot on goal right there, but Salerno up to the task. Gloves it right above his head. Goalies love those types of shots, McKenzie. Nobody in front of them. They can see it the whole way. Doesn't matter how far or how close you are. Yeah, you know, you have that clear view right there. You know where it's coming. Easy to catch. Puck bounces up, but kept in nicely by Sanford. He'll just dump it into the far corner. GSB will go for the four check. And they'll be able to move it up now. Tanner Gaboda dumps it in from the red line. Jansen had it bounce between his legs. He went out to stop it. Was lucky that it got through back to his own team. Porter Clark now with speed up the right wing. Tries to cut in, good poke check by Jack McKenna. Backhander on goal, Salerno with an easy stop and a whistle, 9.45 to play. Hey Booster Clubs, what if I told you one of these teams you're watching right now raises thousands a year by having Garden State Sports broadcast their games? Well many teams partner with us to not only televise their teams so fans can watch from all over the world, 
with professional commentary and top tier production, but also the number one way they raise money for their team. Check out our description for more information. Now NLV moves it up and out of their own zone. Justin Zapp takes it around Porter Clock. Porter Clock with a good hit on Zapp. However, the puck's loose. The backhanded shot attempt gets deflected up into the netting. Big size difference there. It didn't matter, huh? Yeah, no, definitely not. That's a good point of being a defenseman, though, is you got to be able to make that hit. And Porter Clark certainly did, giving up a lot of size to Justin Zapp, but a nice job to make the hit and take him off the puck there. GSP controls the faceoff, moves it out. It's just dumped down ice. There'll be no icing on the play. NLV moves it around their own, so their own right wing. Dangerous play in the slot there. Oh, and a good save by Salerno. I'm sure your coaches would tell you, McKenzie, don't ever bring the puck out like that in your own slot. Yeah, no, most definitely the most dangerous for it to be is right in front of the net. Justin Zapp controls on the draw. Off the wing, gets it back. Moves up ice. Cuts it into the middle. Can't get through three defenders for GSB. Porter Clark now on the puck. Comes around the left side. Moves up ice. Good speed. Gains the zone. Moves in nicely on the backhand. Tries to feed it in front. Deflected away by Salerno. And now Zapp on the puck. Zapp soft pass into the middle. Gets through. Shot from the slot. Easily gloved by Jansen. On the shot by Murphy. Face off to the right of Jansen here. Still a one nothing game. About halfway through the first period. Loose puck off the draw. Finally controlled just briefly by Michael Ty. And kept in by NLV. Sanford now on the puck for GSB. Moves up, protects the puck with his body and gets it out of the zone. Panita moved it over to his defense partner. Up and out of the zone. GSB will have to retreat and get on sides. They'll move it back to their D. Brendan Binder now behind his own net. Up to right wing. Passes just off his right winger's stick. And LV keeps it in deep. Frankie Bolf, a good pass. And a good shot by Ty Deliker. And another good save by Jansen. Deliker now from a sharp angle. Good save again, Jansen. GSB having a little trouble in their own end here. And we'll get a whistle. I believe the puck hit the netting above the high glass here. And the faceoff will remain in the night zone. NLV with a late change here. As a home team, they do get the last change, but felt a little late there. Delica wins the draw. However, Sanford controls for GSB. Funky bounce off the glass, comes out to neutral ice, and NLV will dump in and get back on side. Porter Clark now comes around his own net. Avoids a four check. Now moves up with speed through the neutral zone. Into the NLV zone. Nice move around the D, around the net, looking for somebody to pass to. NLV done a nice job clogging up the middle. Clark all the way back out to the point now. Oh, his fans on the pass. And it'll be dumped in. No call Clark as Clark took down number 61, Kellen Fassinger. Oh, and Dabrowski, backhander, through the crease. And GSB will just ice the puck and get out of trouble. Always some dangerous play coming out from right behind the net there. Yeah, you know, you're watching to put two players battle for it, getting definitely more physical as the game goes on. However, icing it sometimes is the best thing you can do when you're in that trouble spot. Yeah, and, you know, fortunately in high school, you don't have that NHL rule where you can't change lines. So, you know, you have that advantage of let's just ice it and get some fresh legs out, right? Yeah, you know, I think what's, what both coaches are doing is they're trying to put their stronger lines against their weaker lines is what it looks like out here. 
Michael Ty for GSB moves up. All the way around on the backhand, gets it in deep. Comes back up around towards his point man. Chips it over to Porter Clark. Porter Clark shot, save Salerno. And now a potential break here for NLV, but good hustle by GSB getting back on the defense there. Dabrowski now comes around the net for NLV. Out to the point. Murphy with it at the point. Wrist shot. Deflected in front, loose in front of Jansen, but it's taken away by Porter Clark. He's got Dabrowski four checking hard. Takes him down. Sanford now on it. Good move to avoid trouble. And GSB able to move it out. Michael Ty stops. Finds his right winger open. Cuts it into the middle. Backhander looking for the feed. Nice job. And Salerno able to steer it aside. Back out to the point. Clark now. Toe drag down low. Looks across. Puck is deflected by Murphy. George Taylor for GSB. Now. One timer save Salerno. And NLV now will ice the puck. Back and forth with the pressure here, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, watching them down there for most of that uh, time in the offensive zone, GSB stayed very high, st stayed very high up until they felt like they had a good passing range, and then they started passing it around there. Got a good, very good shot off there. Yeah, Salerno's facing some tough shots so far. Stopped all but one. Porter Clock, nice move, and he shoots. Goes high over Salerno's head and come all the way around and back down to the GSB zone. So there will be no icing. Again, and hard look on the floor check. GSB controls now. Porter Clark again. Moves it up ice for Whiteley. He deflected it into the zone, but it was before the red line, so we'll get an icing call. And 4.48 to go here in the first period. Pretty evenly matched game so far, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, most definitely. I think Newton's definitely stepping up to the GSB. Dumped in. NLV gets back on side. Jansen leaves it behind for his defenseman. Brendan Brinder moves it over to Whiteley. Whiteley now comes up and out of the zone. Just chips it to Blinkoff. Blinkoff now top of the circle. Toe drag. Nice move. Good shot. I think Salerno got a piece of that. And LV is going to ice the puck again here. Hey, folks, just want to let you know that tonight we remember the late Brett Luthner, who passed away last month after his battle with pancreatic cancer. Please consider donating in Brett's name using the QR code included in our broadcast today. All proceeds will be submitted to the American Cancer Society in honor of our friend and fellow hockey lover. Hockey fights cancer. Off the draw, comes out to the point. Sanford, good shot. And a good save by Salerno. Well, McKenzie, despite the difference in depth of benches so far in this game, GSB seems to have had the better of the play. Yeah, you know, I think also them coming from the Haas division it shows that they have a little bit more competition in each one of their single players. However, I think that Sevy's getting a look, good look right now at what his competition will look like next year if he goes up into the Haas division. NLV gained the zone, albeit briefly, and GSB tries to go back on the attack. Chipped into the NLV bench. It'll be a face-off inside their zone to Salerno's left. You have the Deliker Gaboda Walters line out there now for NLV. Deliker thrown out of the circle. Sanford has it from the point, moves it down low. Hassle by Gaboda. Now hassle by Deliker. Still controls. Comes all the way around the ice into the slot. Turns and fires and easily gloved by Salerno. We 
get another face off to Salerno's left. Whiteley on the draw for GSB. NLV controls it now. Murphy will go behind his own net. Slow it down a little bit. Up the wing to Kendra Smith. Chips it out of the zone, but Porter Clark stops it, gets it right back to Whiteley. Whiteley now fires from the top of the circle. Good block by Murphy. Back up to the point, Porter Clark. Protects the puck, moves it to Sanford. Sanford's shot is blocked by Gaboda, but it bounces right to Clark. Clark winds up. Deflected, but not through. GSB with some good control here in the offensive zone. Murphy moves it up to Smith. She can't get it out. Clark gets it back to his winger. Cross ice feed for Sanford. Shoots. And another glove saved by Salerno. Sustained pressure here, McKenzie. Yeah, definitely. You know, watching GSB, though, they're really good with their passing, which is helping them out a lot here and getting off shots. Yeah, a lot of tape to tape. Good protection when they're moving around. They're hassled by the four checkers. They're definitely not playing a one-man game. NLV controls the draw, moves it around. Dabrowski couldn't handle the pass. It's blocked, and here comes that. Up ice, he could have a breakaway. One man to beat. Shot saved, Jansen. And he dives out and covers up any rebound. Good opportunity for NLV to tie the game there. But Jansen up to the challenge and denies that. Yeah, if we see the replay here, McKenzie. Zap did a nice job of blocking the shot and then going right after the loose puck. Yeah, you know, as a goaltender, you definitely don't want that rebound out front there. At least too many opportunities. Zap again in the slot. Shot doesn't get through. Michael Ty now for GSB. Comes around. Dabrowski on him for checking. Ty does a nice job to spin away. Cannot get past the red line. NLV takes it back, dumps it in. Tie on it again now. Pass is picked off at center ice. Tie with it once again, however. Zap on the four check. NLV dumped in deep by Panita. Porter Clark back for the puck. Clark with some nice moves on Zap, gets away from him. Just chips it up in the air. Whiteley has it now at the red line. Loses it. Dabrowski now circles in. Plenty of GSB back. Nice move, Dabrowski. Dabrowski in alone. Oh, and a nice save by Jansen. And then that's not going to be a goal there. Brendan Binder just absolutely drove Dabrowski over Luke Jansen. I think there's a little bit of disappointment in Newton right now that they're not getting that goal. <laughs> right after the whistle, though, definitely. Yeah, that was, you know, as an official, right, that's a, kind of a tough call to make. What do we do? Do we let the play continue? Because that was clearly the GSB player pushing Dabrowski into their own goalie. However, player safety comes first. Yeah, you know, I think as a referee player, obviously pr player safety always comes first, but definitely you're going to look at it as... Newton's going to be a little ticked off now that they didn't get their goal. No question about it. We could only imagine how angry GSB would have been had that goal been allowed. Yeah, now you can hear the ref kicking somebody out. Yeah, unfortunately, there are folks who will, you know, get a little too loud, a little too boisterous. And the officials on the ice have every right whatsoever to remove someone who is not acting in accordance with the rules and regulations, especially of high school hockey. Yeah, you know, I think the worst thing you could ever do is argue with an, with an official because they're the official of the game. Their say is final. Exactly. So off the draw now. Clark with the puck for GSB. Nice pass to Whiteley. Good tape to tape. Wiley now, offside, excuse me, off wing, good shot. Puck comes off, uh, excuse me, neck comes off the moorings. We're going to whistle just under a minute to play.
And GSB must have knocked that net off, McKenzie, because the faceoff's coming outside. Yeah, you know, didn't look too much like it was the goalie, so. Whiteley off the draw, gets it right in the zone. Circles back, looks to Clark. Clark now moves in. Clark looking for a lane to shoot, and he does. And it's deflected out of play. You know, with 45 seconds left of the first period, I think Newton's definitely trying to step it up defensively, just keep it out of their zone, at least that way. When you might, they might lose the first period, but maybe try to win the second and third. Off the draw, GSB controls. Back to Sanford at the point. Sanford moves it towards the slot and cuts in. Backhander, nice pad saved by Salerno. Rebounds loose. And the official lost sight of the puck and blows the play dead. It'll be a face off to Salerno's right. Salerno was under siege there, McKenzie, but he did a nice job. Yeah, you know, I've actually played with him in the past. He's a really good goalie. He knows where, to, where the puck's going, when it's going to go. 30 seconds to play here in the first period. Shot from the point. Salerno kicks it aside. NLV looks like they're just trying to get out of this first period, having only given up one. Panita knocks his man down, moves it around to the far corner. Kept in from there. Good pass to Whiteley. 15 seconds to play. Whiteley looking for somebody in the slot. Pass is blocked. Now it's through. Kicked away by NLV into the corner. Four seconds to play. Right into the slot and moved out of the way immediately by Panita. And at the end of one, it's a one nothing lead for the Knights over Newton Lenape Valley here on their senior night. This is Garden State Sports. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back with the start of the second period in just a few minutes. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Colder temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go-to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Hey parents, 
Did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective. And welcome back. We'll get set for the start of the second period here from Skylands Ice World in Stockholm, New Jersey. I'm Brad Shelton. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer here live on Garden State Sports. Alongside me today on color is Mackenzie Rivera. Our cameraman is Jesse Londino and our producer is Kelly Barta. One nothing lead after the first. GSB leads NLV. NLV controls on the opening draw here. And Lucas Garofano gets it in deep for NLV. He's met by Porter Clark and they'll battle. They're still battling even though the puck has moved on. Now Sanford moved it up for GSB. He gets it back on a nice bank pass. Excuse me, that was Whiteley. Moves it back to Sanford now. Sanford on the backhand. Picked off in front by Gallucci. And Gallucci will end up icing the puck. However, it was a good intercepted pass right there by Gallucci. You don't mind an icing after a nice defensive play sometimes. You can get some fresh legs out there. It's very important to have those fresh legs out there. It makes all the difference in a game whether you're having a player play a minute shift or a 10 minute shift. It'll be Zap and Ty on the face off. Bounces off the referee and a good shot on goal. Oh, and another good shot and Ty just tried to deflect it on goal. Ty loses the handle. Good keep at the point. Sanford now with it. Has a man in the slot. He's looking. Pass was just into the skates of Zap and couldn't get through. Kept in, now Ty has it for GSB. Circling around, finds Sanford at the far point. Sanford's wrist shot, gloved by Salerno. Jack Bofa was looking for the deflection on that wrist shot there. Salerno with 17 saves so far here, and we're only about a minute and 15 into the second period. Zap wins the draw back. Defense can't get it past GSB. Moved up to the point. Good fake on the shot. Porter Clark. And a good block by Zap again. Zap's got two or three blocks on shots from the point today. Cross ice, far point. Shot, another block shot, this time by Murphy. Up to Porter Clark. Keeps it in. All the way back to the far corner. Murphy did not realize he had a GSB player waiting for the puck there. Blinkoff up to the point. Slap shot is deflected wide by Murphy. Whiteley now to it first. GSB with the better of the play here. Porter Clark, beautiful spin move, shoots. And a nice save by Solano. Clark tries to wrap around, but it's pushed away by Zapp, and it comes back out to the point. Binder now has it. Back to Porter Clark. Porter Clark with it now. Circles around, dumps it in deep. Whiteley with it now. Top of the circle, Whiteley shoots. Salerno got a piece of that with the glove. <laughs> Zap chips it out now in the 2 on 1 here. Porter Clark, the only man back. Puck is on net and it's loose. Murphy has it now. Murphy circles and shoots. Another save by Jansen. Jansen, two good saves on that play. 
Back and forth we go a little bit here now. And I'll be able to keep it in. Big hit along the blue line there by Deliker. We'll get a whistle for a man down. And we'll get a little emotion going here between these two teams, even though they're not in the same division. Big hits will do that, Mackenzie. Yeah, no, I think that partly, and also those fans in there, you can hear them from up here. The spectators seem to be getting quite rowdy. Well, despite the extracurricular activity, it was some good action by both teams right there. GSB controlled nicely in the offensive zone for a good two minutes before a block shot led to a two-on-one with Zapp and Dabrowski. Porter Clark had a little trouble getting back, but Jansen bailed him out with a couple of nice saves. And with 12-10 remaining, it's still a one nothing game. So far, we have one penalty up on the board. It'll be Dabrowski so far. For NLV, looks like he's got a minor penalty. I don't know if we're going to get any additional calls here. We're going to step away for about 30 seconds. We'll be right back here on Garden State Sports. Precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey, and we are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent like most of you are, and uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that be an auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable... All right, we're back here with 12.09 to play and a one nothing lead for Gil St. Bernard's over Newton Lenape Valley on NLV's senior night. We're gonna have a power play here now for GSP in our open road Mazda of Morristown power play. First time car buyers, listen up. Open road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than $15,000, backed by a rock solid five day money back guarantee. Drive with confidence. Drive with open road Mazda of Morristown. Check our link below for more details. So a face-off in the NLV zone, the Salerno's right. Controlled by NLV, and they'll ice it all the way down to start off this GSB power play. Murphy and Pineda back on D. Walter and Zap up front on the penalty kill. Like Sanford and Clark on D. Sanford bringing it up now for GSB. He's got room. He skates around the net, and he'll look to set up the GSB power play. Clark has it now. Over to Whiteley. Sanford shot. Oh, good save by Salerno, and he just covers up that rebound nicely. First shot on goal on this power play. It is a good one through traffic. Salerno. There to make the save. You know, Mackenzie Salerno came in with an 865 save percentage. Right now, 19 saves on 20 shots. That's going up. Yeah, you know, he's a really good goalie watching him. He knows where the puck's going to be. Sanford now with it. Top of the umbrella. Over to Clark. Clark shoots through traffic. 
Changed directions and just went wide. Whiteley with it now in the corner. Comes right out to the circle. Good shot on goal and another stop by Salerno. Panita fires it all the way around and down. A little over a minute gone by in this GSB power play. Good three shots on goal. All of them quality chances. Porter Clark, nice move. Puck comes off his stick, but he gets it right back. Clark, sharp angle. Murphy got his stick out and got a piece of that and sends it all the way around and out. Sanford has to retreat to neutral ice. GSB trying to get back on side. And we'll get a penalty. Looks like number 50, Ty Deliker, being called for a hold as he was on the four check there on Sanford. And it'll be a five on three here, McKenzie, for 28 seconds. Yeah, you know, Newton was doing pretty good at counting off that first penalty. Wonder how, how they're gonna be down now that they're down two players. And here we go, back to action. Zap on the faceoff against Whiteley. Whiteley wins it. Back to the point to Clark. Clark with it. Lots of room out there now for GSP. Into the slot, over to Whiteley. He scores! Beautiful feed and finish. And GSP takes a 2-0 lead. Oh, look at that one again here, McKenzie. Up to the point to Clark. Back down. And a great feed across through the legs of Murphy and Whiteley just finished it off. Yeah, you know, Newton just couldn't do it with that two man down. Zap off the draw. Still a power play here. For a few more seconds for GSB. Clark will move it up. Gains the zone. Tries the centering feed. Deflected to Whiteley. He loses the handle. Zap now if he can beat. Oh, and Zap, that's going to be a tripping call right there on Sanford. You know, three or four more steps, and Zap has the blue line. That's a penalty shot. Sanford pleading his case to no avail. <laughs> Once again, do not argue with the refs. If anything, it just ticks them off more. <laughs> I don't know what his argument would be. He went down to the ice and kind of threw his stick at Zap's legs and took him out from underneath. That is the textbook definition of a tripping it. call. <laughs> he fell on his own. So we'll have another power play here, this time for NLV. And once again, our power play sponsor today is Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is here to elevate your car buying experience. For over 15 years, we've been serving the Morris and Sussex community, offering top-notch affordable new and used cars. Trust the experts at Open Road Mazda of Morristown, where your confidence meets the road. Visit the link below for more details. Well, a 2-0 lead here for GSB, but Newton Lenape Valley on the power play now. Good opportunity to have the lead here, McKenzie. GSB able to control off the draw. Zap picks the pocket and gets it picked right back. GSB not satisfied to send it just the length of the ice. Michael Ty skates it all the way down, and it's off the outside of the post. Looking for the shorty. Murphy now tries to move it up the, up the boards. He does the zap. Tanner Gaboda now with it. Doesn't have a lot of help, and he just dumps it in on goal on Jansen. And I'm seeing four on four hockey out there. So the only thing I could assume is that the scoreboard operator had a little trouble with that second NLV penalty. And we have even strength hockey here for a few minutes. Nice move, Clark shoots, good save Salerno. Panita sends it down. I don't Actually it's five on four here for GSB. I'm slightly confused as what uh, what happened here, McKenzie. 
Honestly, I just don't think they put the other uh, penalty ever up on the board for Newton. Yeah, but Sanford went to the box for a trip, so I don't understand how they still have five on the ice. I could understand if it was a misconduct call, but a tripping is a two-minute minor. You should be short. We're on five on five now as the NLV player comes out. And we get a whistle and another penalty called. Definitely going to be one of those games, you know, Newton doesn't want to lose on their senior nights. So they're going to up their aggression, just get more retaliation from the other team, though. And Michael Ty is going to the box for a holding call. So this finally should be that open road Mazda of Morris town power play. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to find out after the game what happened on that call with Sanford because the only thing I could assume is if they still had five on the ice that he was given a misconduct, but the initial call from the official was clearly a trip. So it will be a uh, power play here for Newton Lenape Valley as Ty is in there and it's on the board for two minutes. Off the draw, controlled by NLV. Down low is Walter. Clark takes the puck away from him, tries to fire it all the way around and it's just kept in nicely by Gallucci. However, right to the corner to Clark and he'll fire it off the wall and all the way down. Salerno will stop it for Gallucci and Gallucci comes behind his own net. Sets up and looks to break out. Long pass to Walter. Lost the handle. Gallucci has to retreat. He'll pick the puck up and go back behind his own net. Reverse direction. Reverse again. And a long pass out to center ice to Walter. Walter with Bofa. And Deliker on, uh, on forward. Dumped in to the corner. This is not the power play NLV really wants to have right now. A minute in. They have yet to be able to set it up. Puck is fired all the way down the length of the ice. And GSB will kill more time. <clears throat> Gallucci again sets up behind his net. Stretch pass to Zap. Zap now gains the zone around left wing. With speed, good shot on goal. And a nice save by Jansen. Held that post nicely with the right pad. Now cleared again all the way down by GSB. They're definitely doing a lot of work with that clearing there, making Newton work extra hard for it. Pass to Zap is in his skates. I don't think he sees it. Takes a hit at the blue line. Newton finally gains the zone. Gallucci with it. Drops it in the slot, but it was intercepted by GSB and out into neutral ice. Nice job on the PK there by Wyatt Mercado. Mercado, just a freshman, has done a nice job so far today. And now it's brought up again by Ty. Excuse me, that was Tyler Blanin, and he got tripped up. And there'll be a penalty now on NLV. Back and forth with the power plays once again. Open road Mazda of Morristown is your power play sponsor today. And not only that, they're your trusted source for new and exciting rides. Whether you're into small and sporty like the legendary Miata or need a full-size family mover like the powerful CX-90, Mazda offers a wide range of vehicles to match your style and needs. First time buyers, explore our affordable used cars and hit the road in a Mazda that suits your every adventure. Visit the link below for more details. GSB sets up out to Sanford at the point. Nice, nice job of blocking the pass. However, good keep by Ty. Back to Sanford. Sanford now all the way across the blue line and in. Good poke check by Zap. Sanford able to kick it over to Clark. Clark protects the puck nicely with his body. Moves it down to Ty. Ty looking for somebody in the slot. It's not there. He's content to just circle around and look. Has Clark at the point now. Clark shoots. Was looking for a redirect. Sanford wasn't there. Sanford now with it, drops it for Clark. Clark shoots, and a good save by Salerno. Clark lost an edge after he took that shot. Zap now with it, has it taken away by Whiteley. Whiteley looking to make a pass, finds Clark. 
Clark back to Whiteley. Whiteley shoots in. Oh, man, he had the net, but he shot it wide. All the way back to Clark and across to Sanford now. Good power play so far here for GSB. Looking to take a three-goal lead. Whiteley with it now. All the way across. One-timer. Good save, Salerno. And he blockers it into the netting. Good sustained pressure there on that power play. Yeah, you know, definitely. They Newton also does know how to kill it off, though. They're trying. I don't think they want any more of a lead to have to fight against. Definitely not. They did a good job maintaining their box, keeping GSB to the outside. Salerno with good sight lines on all those shots. And LV able to clear the zone to neutral ice. And about 35 seconds left in this power play for GSB. Sanford moves it in, has it swatted away by Deliker, but he gets it back in the corner. GSB sets up now. Sanford drops it for Clark, back to Sanford. He winds up and shoots high and wide. Bounce off the wall, and somehow Whiteley directed that wide off that crazy bounce off the back boards. Clark moved off the puck, but the puck does not come out. Sanford with it again. Shoots. Good deflection, but it goes up into the netting. George Taylor on the deflection. Will be just two seconds left in our open road Mazda of Morristown power play. And a 2 nothing lead here for GSB. All the credit in the world to Salerno here so far through two. Got 26 saves on 28 shots. Keep an NLV in this game, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, definitely relying on your goaltender. It sucks to have to do it sometimes. You need to have a good goaltender, excuse me, a good goaltender like him helps a lot. Murphy now up the boards. Stretch pass to Kendra Smith. Has a goal off her stick and in the zone. And GSB moves up now with speed. Clark again. Puck deflected around. Smith now gets it out. Murphy moves up. Murphy takes a big hit at the blue line. But the puck is dumped in by Howlick. Howlick falls down in the corner on the puck. Gets back up. Starts back checking. Michael Tyne now for GSB. Moves through neutral ice. Tries a deep move around Panita. Can't do it. Panita with a nice job there. Into the slot. Shot, good save, Salerno, and he covers up. No rebound. Definitely did not want to leave that rebound out with number 15 right there. No, Salerno's been quick on those rebounds to pull him back into him and cover him up. Zap now. Didn't I don't think he realized he won the draw. It was in his skates. <laughs> Whiteley for GSB. Takes the hit from Zap. Murphy now for NLV. Moves it up. Tries to get something going. NLV looking to have the lead here. Murphy's shot is deflected on goal, and Jansen easily gloves a pop up. And there'll be a face off to his left. 2.52 remaining here in the second period of our first matchup of three today. We want to thank you all for joining us. Here on Garden State Sports, I'm alongside Mackenzie Rivera, our color analyst, Joe, Jesse Londino on camera, and Kelly Barada on producing today. I want to thank everyone. I'm sorry, Kelly. I said Barada. It's Barda. That's my bad. <laughs> You know what it is? I had some burrata as an appetizer the other night for dinner, and it was delicious. <laughs> anyway, NLV now with the puck. Murphy cross ice to his partner, Panita. Tries a long pass. It gets out of the zone. That'll be off sides by a, just a hair there, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, it's so frustrating. You don't think it is. All of a sudden, you hear that whistle, and you just, you're stunned almost to yourself. You're just like, damn, like, so close. You could have had that. You know, as an official, too, sometimes you, you dread having to make a call like that because it's just that hair. But you see that white, and you make that call, and that's that's the end of it. Move on. Yep. 
Dabrowski now moves up for NLV. Tries to toe drag, can't get through to D. Good keep at the blue line. That was Jack McKenna at the blue line with that keep. GSB controls and moves out with speed now. They break out. And a nice move. And Michael Ty is in alone. Salerno chipped it away. Oh, and there's going to be another penalty coming up to NLV here. Gallucci with a high hit. And he's going to get called for roughing with 140 to play, down two. Tough penalty to take right there at the end of a period when you're down two, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, I think something that is working for GSP in their favor, though, is that they have a lot of speed, which is not something that doesn't seem to be as much working for Newton. No, GSP seems to have a very easy time using that, utilizing that speed on their breakout. They're not having to make two or three passes just to get out of their zone. It's one, maybe two, and then boom, they're gone. And here we go with another open road Mazda of Morristown power play. Puck is just sitting there on the faceoff dot. Nobody seemed to want it. Sanford now on his backhand. He'll circle back to the forehand. Down to Whiteley. Whiteley at the... Oh, Whiteley's pass. Michael Ty on the one-timer. Just went wide. Zap now against Porter Clark Jr. Drop pass is stolen by GSB. They come out. Michael Ty shoots just wide of the blocker. Comes all the way out and around. Now there's a race to the puck. Dabrowski gets there first. Clark is back. Clark with another nice hit. Separating man from the puck to prevent the scoring opportunity and finishes the check behind the net. And we'll get another penalty now. It's coming up to NLV. Delayed call. It's going to be on Braden Dabrowski. I'm sure he's not going to be happy about that as Clark gave him two hits. And Dabrowski may have just gotten an additional unsportsmanlike. So he may be looking at four minutes. The frustration starting to boil over. And now a misconduct as well. It looks like Braden Dabrowski is going to get the initial rough, followed by an unsportsmanlike, and then a 10-minute misconduct. And he'll skate off the ice as uh, he won't be back until there's about a minute left in this game. We'll see what they put up on the board here. Frustration's really boiling over there, McKenzie. Yeah, no, you're watching them, even watching Newton's bench, you know. I think you could see it at everybody. Nobody wants to lose on their senior night, much less at a game. You know, I think Dabrowski may have had a point there on the initial call. You know, he took two hits, including one maybe from the side or from behind there. A little questionable. Yeah, you know, for, I think for him it might have been a thing where, hey, if you're going to make that call, maybe call both of us. You know, I'm the one who is absorbing the hits. But once you start talking back to the referee, that's it. It's over. You can't do that, number one. And the second he hits you with that on sports, I'm like, that's the time you got to stop talking altogether. And once you don't, boom, hands on hips. That's yep. a misconduct. So it'll be a five on three. Continuing this open road Mazda Morristown power play for GSB. Ryan Salerno is not enjoying this, but he's putting up some spectacular numbers today. 28 saves on 30 shots, and I'm sure he's going to face a few more here on a five-on-three. See, I'm waiting to see if he might have a few goalie penalties in the third period, knowing him as a player. <laughs> GSB gains the zone. Clark now with it. Five-on-three here for GSB. 23 seconds remaining in the second period. A 2-0 lead for GSB. Sanford shot, save Salerno, he covers up. 17 seconds to play. Salerno with 29 saves here. 
with 17 seconds remaining in the second period, having an absolutely outstanding game. Justin Zapp comes out to take the draw for NLV. Murphy and Pineda on D. Zapp wins the draw. Up the boards but can't get it out. Off his skate, almost out, but kept in. 10 seconds to play. Sanford across. Nice job by Zapp, getting his stick in a passing lane and allowing Pineda to send it all the way down. Oh, 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 that was close there, That could have been real dangerous. That, that could have been real dangerous, absolutely. Zapp would have had an empty net, but it does get by him. And at the end of two, GSB leads two to nothing. You're watching Garden State Sports live here on YouTube. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back with the start of the third period in a few minutes. Is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Hmm. Huh. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. so cold my fish froze mine's so hot my sneakers melted rooms with different temperatures that means your hvac system is outdated and wasting energy at ics we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ics for hvac i see why Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown.
Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Come on over to AG Pizza, where you can experience our new specials every week from Friday to Saturday. You can book a private event or party in our upstairs area and enjoy our outdoor heated patio all year round. Make sure you try our new seasonal drink and cocktail menu and take advantage of our catering and delivery services. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Colder temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. 
Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective. And the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm a personal injury lawyer. In fact, I am the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey. And we are happy to support KJS United's hockey team. Uh, I am a hockey parent like most of you are. And uh, if you're ever involved in an accident, that be a auto accident, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to give you a free consultation. You could also look us up at njlawresults.com. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Hmm. Huh. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. so cold my fish froze mine's so hot my sneakers melted rooms with different temperatures that means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy at ICS we will install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ICS for HVAC I see why Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. 
That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located... Welcome back, everyone, for the start of the third period of this first of our three matchups tonight. It's Newton Lenape Valley Senior Night. They're down 2-0 to Gil St. Bernard's. We're here live at Skylands Ice World in Stockholm, New Jersey, where it's currently 42 degrees outside. Our game time temperature is brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all of your comfort needs. Today's game is sponsored by Newton Lenape Valley Ice Hockey and also sponsored by Gill St. Bernard's. Why choose Gill St. Bernard's? More than just a tagline. Our mission to provide a balanced, diverse, and secure community that prepares students academically, socially, and ethically for college and a meaningful life is a living reflection of who we are and the values that inform our daily interactions. Visit gsbschool.org. Again, we got a 2 0 lead here. Bill St. Bernard's, who's second place in the Haas division, over the Newton Lenape Valley Braves, who are in first place in the Charette division. It was an interesting first two periods, Mackenzie. Yeah, you know, most definitely. I think that Newton's going to try and make the comeback in the third period, though, not give up the game. Yeah, GSB doing a nice job despite a sh very short bench. They've had the better of the play so far, but. We've talked about it at length so far today, Mackenzie. Brian Salerno has been dynamite in goal for the Braves. He's got 29 saves on 31 shots so far through two periods. And he's going to have to keep it up because as we go into this third period, GSB is still on the Open Road Mazda of Morristown power play. First time car buyers, listen up. Open Road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles. For less than 15000 backed by a rock-solid five-day money-back guarantee. Drive with confidence. Drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown. We're underway here at the start of the third period. Five on three for a few more seconds for GSB. On the doorstep, steps back. Out to Porter Clark at the point. Clark moves it over now. Oh, centering feed, and it's a goal just before the expiration of the five on three. And a 3-0 GSB lead. Not sure who got their stick on that in front. We'll have to take a look and see. Comes out to Clark. He moves it over to the left wing. And then right on the doorstep. I believe that was number 22, Tyler Belanen. It's always that doorstep you got to watch. And GSB gets to remain on the power play here as they scored that goal with just two seconds remaining in the five on three. Oh, and a one-timer is a nice glove save as Ryan Salerno comes across the crease. This is a double minor that NLV is trying to kill off here that Dabrowski took just before the end of the second period. GSB controls. Michael Ty with it. Stanford at the point. They'll switch positions. Ty now. 
Oh, feed over to Sanford, and he misses high and wide, and it will come all the way down. Porter Clark will come behind his own net with Murphy on the forecheck here. Murphy and Zapp on the forecheck. Porter Clark gets around Zapp. Porter Clark drags it, but unable to get the shot off, and it's cleared all the way down by NLV. Luke Jansen now. Leaves it for Sanford. He leaves it for Ty. Ty cuts back in the middle and moves up with speed. He's got room through neutral ice. Loses it for just a second shot on goal. It's a good save by Salerno. Comes out to Sanford. He shoots. Doesn't make it all the way through. NLV can't clear. Sanford's got it again. Moves it over to right wing. Shot off the post. Flues in front and cleared out of danger by NLV with 130 remaining in the open road Mazda Morristown power play. Clark again now. GSB down to just nine skaters, but they are showing that they have the legs today and they are controlling play here. NLV had a little trouble. No one could decide who was going to clear it, and they don't. Now Michael Ty with it. Circles around, gets it down low. Sanford now back to Ty in the corner. Ty loses it, picks it back up, tries to go to the point with it, and it's deflected out of the zone by Murphy. Porter Clark now back in the zone for GSB. Chips it to himself, cuts back in. Backhander on net, floats over the glove of Salerno. Made the initial save. NLV was looking for the shorthanded break there and nearly had it. Whiteley now moved it over to Clark. Clark cuts into the slot. Just gets it down low now as he was being harassed. Long shot, deflected wide. Blannon into the slot, stopped by NLV, and they will clear it all the way down with 20 seconds remaining in the power play. Jansen had Murphy coming in on him, so he just moves it up to Sanford. Sanford will take his time. 10 seconds remaining in the power play. Clark now slowly brings it up ice. That will do it for the power play. Clark will just dump it in deep with a 3-0 lead. And LV moves it up the boards, no one there. Again moves it up the boards, hit the official skate, so it's not out. Now NLV gets it out. Pass for Zap goes between his legs, no icing on the play, Zap in there first. On the forecheck, rubbed out nicely by Clark. And Whiteley picks it up and skates up zone. Whiteley gains the red line and into the brave zone. He stops, just dumps it down. NLV tries to break out, they do. Two on two. Deliker dropped it for Zap. Deliker has it now. Good hit by Clark. Deliker stayed strong on the puck. Zap trying to get to it first. He's got Binder on him. Gets it up to the point. Shot from the point in the slot. Deliker had it. But Porter Clark got a stick on it. Puck goes all the way down to the NLV zone. That was the first good opportunity in a long time right there for NLV, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, I mean, they did get through that penalty kill, those two penalty kills with only one goal in. Now here comes Brendan Binder, loses it. Zap in, zap, oh, beautiful save, Luke Jansen, left pad. Jansen across, oh, and no! This time they finish it off. Matt Finn with the goal for NLV, and they get on the board, three to one. I wonder if this is gonna be NLV's comeback right here. Just lost a puck off his stick, Zap. Backhander, great save by Jansen. And Zap just fed it right back into the slot, and Finn was there to put it home. Jansen had no chance on that one. Off the faceoffs, GSB controls. Sanford being harassed though by Zap. Zap in on the forecheck. NLV looks like they got a little extra spring in their step here now that they're on the board. GSB gains the zone. Nice spin around the check by Sanford, but he loses an edge and goes down. However, good forecheck by GSB. 
Still have control in the zone. Now it's out to neutral ice. Dumped in, but not deep. NLV had Zap break and couldn't get it to him. Michael Ty now up with speed. Goes around defense. Oh, and that's going to be a penalty coming up to Matt Finn. So Finn scores the goal, and then he takes down Ty on the rush, and he'll go sit for two. Kenzie, tough to come back when you keep giving up power plays. Yeah, you know, I think also they're relying a lot on their goalie, obviously. The only reason that he's getting so many shots is, you know, if your offensive and defense are lacking, that's when it comes to you. And I think you're going to see some little, a little bit more aggression out of him because of the amount of shots he's had to face tonight. And NLV able to clear it all the way down here to start this open road Mazda of Morristown power play for Gil St. Bernard's. Bernard's, excuse me. Sanford now. Skated right into Murphy, but maintained control of the puck and gets up ice. Able to gain the zone. Keeps it. Being harassed by Murphy. Shot is deflected behind the net. Still controlled by GSB. Clark is open at the point, calling for it. Doesn't get it. It's kept by Whiteley along the boards. Whiteley, cross ice feed. Was stopped in the slot. I don't think the man in the slot realized he wanted to go all the way across. Sanford shot. Blocked by Panita. Murphy cannot push Clark off the puck. Clark now cuts in front, backhander. It's a goal, Porter Clark. Power play goal. I think that's gonna bring out a lot of frustration and Newton, you know, they just scored and then to be scored against it now. I'm sorry, you know, I said that was Matt Finn on the penalty. It was actually Jack McKenna. My apologies to Mr. Finn. And Porter Clark gets his sixth on the season. And it's a now back to a three-score lead for GSB with 8.30 to play. Tyler Blannon now, he has a goal today. Gets it in deep. Blannon's attempt to get it into the slot is blocked. But GSB able to keep it in. Sanford at the blue line kept it in. Now it's finally back out to neutral ice. Porter Clark with it. Clark avoids the check of Howlick. Clark gets it in deep. Circles behind, looking for someone to pass it to. Another penalty going to be upcoming here to NLV. Oh! And Gallucci with a high hit on Clark. Definitely getting one penalty here, potentially two, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, I think the officials really need to talk that one over before they make something that's going to piss off too many people. And indeed, it is going to be a double minor to Gallucci. As we saw the official make both calls. It'll be another open road Mazda of Morristown power play. You know, with everything that GSB's had done to them, they're really doing really well to not retaliate back. And I think that's where they're going to win is the fact that they've had one or two penalties, if I'm correct, whereas Newton's had many. Yeah, good discipline. Good discipline from uh, GSB today. They've taken some high hits, taken some hard hits, but they haven't retaliated. Don't normally see that in hockey. No, but, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to do, especially when you have a very short bench. Zap now moves in shorthanded. Can't get a shot away. Puck is just thrown out to the neutral zone. Murphy now drags it back, kills a little bit of time. Tries to dump it in, but couldn't get it all the way. Now it is. Zap backhanded it in. Michael Ty has it. Loses it. Zap was forechecking hard. Clark now back to Ty. Ty with room. He'll skate up. He's got speed through the neutral zone. Avoids the check of Murphy. All the way around. Michael Ty in on goal. Save Salerno. Whiteley now pushes it down the boards. Whiteley did a good job of keeping it in. GSB controls. Back out to the point to Sanford. Sanford with room now. He'll relax it and look for something to do. 
Passes through the skates of Whiteley into the corner. And LV fires it around, but not out as Clark was right there on the boards to take it. Clark now moves it across. Sanford now, off wing shot goes wide. Back to Clark. Clark takes a hit from Murphy. Puck now moved across again. Sanford shoots. And it's deflected into the net. We'll get a stoppage with 6.14 to play. And a 4-1 GSB lead here on the open road Mazda Morristown power play. 2.21 remaining in that power play. Open road Mazda Morristown is your trusted source for new and exciting rides. Whether you're into small and sporty like the legendary Miata or need a full-size family mover like the powerful CX-90, Mazda offers a wide range of vehicles to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, explore our affordable used cars and hit the road in a Mazda that suits your every adventure. Sanford from the point. Gloved easily by Salerno. He saw that one all the way. And it'll be a face-off to Salerno's left. Another save by Salerno off the backhander. Gaboda now up and not out. Clark stopped it at the point. Gaboda does a good job, though, and finally gets it out. And he'll go four-check on Clark. Clark circles around his own net, drops the puck for Sanford. Trey Sanford now moves up ice. Sanford gains the blue line. Goes all the way around the net. Look for somebody to pass it to. Drops it for Clark. Clark circles back, back up to the point. Clark drop pass, nearly picked off by Deliker. Sanford now with it. Deliker, good four check on that. Move down the wall, Whiteley. And another glove save from Salerno. 40 saves for Ryan Salerno today, McKenzie. Yeah, you know, also I'm watching this uh, GSP power play moves, and they really know what they're doing. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is, but whatever it is, it's working for them. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> Faceoff was won by NLV, but Deliker couldn't get it out. GSB keeps it in, circles around the net. Clark open at the point. Just sends it back down low with just over a minute left in the power play. Pass into the slot, goes off of Delicker skates and all the way across the ice. Sent back down. Jack McKenna now tries to get it out for NLV. Good battle along the boards. Gaboda now with it, and he is able to clear it all the way down. Under a minute in the power play for GSB. 4-1 lead, just over four minutes to play. Porter Clark, up ice, avoids two checks, comes in, around the D. Now underneath the goal line. Got Kubota on him. Strong on the puck is Clark. Clark maintains control, just chips it behind the net. McKenna now for NLV, reverses direction. Clark there waiting for it. Now it's down behind the net. Michael Ty with it. Michael Ty out to Sanford at the point. He shoots. Saves Salerno. And he'll cover up. No rebound. Four seconds remaining in the power play. Four to one lead here for GSB. This game is sponsored by Newton Lenape Valley Ice Hockey as well as sponsored by Gil St. Bernard's. I want to thank both booster clubs for supporting their teams and supporting their teams being on this broadcast today here on Garden State Sports. Justin Zapp off the faceoff. Moves up ice. Gets around Sanford. Justin Zapp. Shot attempt is blocked. And here comes Sanford back the other way for GSB. One on two. Uses them as a screen for a good shot on goal that Salerno had a little bit of trouble with. But he's able to scoop it up and cover. A face off to his right with 3.30 remaining. Excuse me, 3.36 remaining. Off the draw. Comes out to neutral ice. Binder send it back in for GSP. NLV gets it out of the zone. And they'll move up. 
Here comes Zap. Shot goes wide. Oh, good attempt by Zap. Got a good bounce off the backboards. Put it right on goal, but Luke Jansen, who hasn't faced much here in this third period, makes a strong save. And Whiteley and Deliker on the draw here to Jansen's left. Controlled by NLV off the draw. Deliker now goes for it in the corner. Back up to Murphy. Murphy to the point, shot. Blocked in front by Whiteley and he'll skate it out. Whiteley takes a hit to get the dump in. And under three minutes to play here in a three goal lead for GSB. And he fires it all the way out and down. Was looking for Murphy on that, couldn't connect. It'll be an icing call. 2.44 to play here in the third period. I want to thank you all for watching us here today on Garden State Sports. We're live in Stockholm, New Jersey at Skylands Ice World. Good shot on goal off the draw by Brad Matthews. And another save by Salerno. That's Salerno's 44th save of the game. With 2.35 to play. Face off one by NLV, but could not get it out. Clark keeps it in. Matthews now. One timer. Just goes wide and comes all the way around. GSB maintains control. Michael Ty on the puck, circling behind the net. Comes out. His pass is deflected and come out to neutralize. GSB will regroup. I'll just dump it in. No ice and call. Binder has it again at his own blue line. Goes cross ice to Clark. Zap on the four check. Clark now with it again. Clark uses his net as a screen. Good long pass out to center ice. Just off the stick of George Taylor. Oh, and Ty has it in alone. And a great save by Salerno. Ty with the rebound. Can't get another shot off. Michael Ty in again. Passes into the slot. Shot is blocked by Zep. Now 45 saves today for Salerno, but that might have been his best of the day. NLV trying to get something going here as we approach one minute to play in this game. Instead, it's a bouncing puck controlled by Michael Ty. He skates up, gets around the D. NLV, though, does a nice job getting back. Can't get the puck out of the zone, though. Under a minute to play. Ty with it now. Circles back towards his point man. Clark. Clark with it now. Avoid zap. Clark. Toe drag. Backhander. Oh, just wide. GSB still maintains control behind the net. Comes right out in front. Shoots. Short, sharp angle shot. And Salerno makes the save. And then Clark <laughs> runs into him and flies over him. Went for a little Superman there. <laughs> well, look, NLV is not going to come back in this game, but I'll tell you what, Ryan Salerno, you've got to be thrilled with his performance in net. 45 saves. Face off one by GSB. Puck comes out of the zone. NLV. Murphy was trying to get to it, could have had a break. And there's going to be a penalty upcoming right here. Uh, it's going to be on NLV as Whiteley moves up. Has the puck taken away from him, and we'll get the whistle with 19 seconds to play. Yeah, they're not letting that aggression die down, even though there's only 19 seconds left of the period. That's for sure. They're fighting for the last second. That they are. However, sometimes you got to be aware of what kind of fight you're getting yourself involved in there. And as... We see now this one resulted in a roughing call. And one final 
open road Mazda of Morristown power play here in this game for Gil St. Bernard's with 19 seconds to play. They win the draw and off the draw, Whiteley shoots and a glove saved by Salerno. It says 50 shots against up on the board, but I'm pretty sure it's about 53, 54 today. So he's right about at that 50 mark for saves. 10 seconds to go. Sanford moves in from the point. Shot is blocked. And NLV gets it out of the zone, and that's going to do it as they're not going to have enough time for Murphy to get the shot. And at the end of three, it's a victory for GSB 4-1 to one on NLV Senior Night. I want to thank everyone for joining us here live on Garden State Sports on YouTube. I want to thank my producer today, Kelly Barda, our cameraman, Jesse Londino, and my color analyst, Mackenzie Rivera. Appreciate all the hard work you guys put in. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time here on Garden State Sports. it comes out a potential break for NLV good poke check by Porter Clark Dabrowski now in the slot has room shoots and a good save by Jansen he saw it all the way there McKenzie yeah you know good hit along the boards however GSB keeps it in keeps it deep now NLV controls tries to get out puck is picked off by Whiteley Whiteley shoots and it's a goal GSB takes a 1-0 lead that looks like Blinkoff finished it off on the shot by Whiteley. Check out our description for more information. Now NLV moves it up and out of their own zone. Justin Zat takes it around Porter Clock. Porter Clock with a good hit on Zat. However, the puck's loose. The backhanded shot attempt gets deflected up into the netting. NLV controls the draw, moves it around. Dabrowski couldn't handle the pass. Blocked, and here comes Zach. Up ice, he could have a breakaway. One man to beat. Shot saved, Jansen. And he dives out and covers up any rebound. Good opportunity for NLV to tie the game there. But G the red line loses it. Dabrowski now circles in. Plenty of GSP back. Nice move, Dabrowski. Dabrowski in alone. Oh, and a nice save by Jansen. And then that's not going to be a goal there. Brendan Binder just absolutely drove Dabrowski over. Off the draw, GSB controls. Back to Sanford at the point. Sanford moves it towards the slot and cuts in. Backhander, nice pad saved by Salerno. Rebounds loose. And the official lost sight of the puck and blows the play dead. Clark has it now. Over to Whiteley. Sanford shot. Oh, good save by Salerno. And he just covers up that rebound nicely. First shot on goal on this power play. It is a good one through traffic. Salerno. Whiteley wins it. Back to the point to Clark. Clark with it. Lots of room out there now for GSP. Into the slot. Over to Whiteley. He scores! Beautiful feed and finish. And GSP takes a 2-0 lead. All the way back to Clark and across to Sanford now. Good power play so far here for GSB. Looking to take a three goal lead. Whiteley with it now. All the way across, one timer. Good, saves Salerno and he blockers it into the netting. Good sustained pressure there on that power play. There's Jack McKenna at the blue line with that keep. GSB controls and moves out with speed now. They break out. And a nice move, and Michael Ty is in alone. Salerno chipped it away. Oh, and there's gonna be another penalty coming up to NLV here. Skate almost out, but kept in. 10 seconds to play. Sanford across. Nice job by Zap, getting his stick in a passing lane and allowing Panita to send it all the way down. Oh, 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 that was close there, That Zapp. could have been real dangerous. That, that could have been real dangerous, absolutely. Zap would have had an empty net. On the doorstep, steps back. Out to Porter Clark at the point. Clark moves it over now. 
Oh, centering feed, and it's a goal just before the expiration of the five on three. And a three nothing GSB lead, not sure. All right, here comes Brendan Binder, loses it. Zap in, zap, oh, beautiful save, Luke Jansen, left pad. Jansen across, oh, and no! This time they finish it off. Matt Finn with by Fanita. Murphy cannot push Clark off the puck. Clark now cuts in front, backhander. It's a goal, Porter Clark. Power play goal. I think that's gonna bring out a lot of frustration and new and you know, they just And they'll move up. Here comes Zap. Shot goes wide. Oh, good attempt by Zap. Got a good bounce off the backboards. Put it right on goal, but Luke Jansen, who hasn't faced much here in this third. Clark uses his net as a screen. Good long pass out to center ice. Just off the stick of George Taylor. Oh, and Ty has it in alone. And a great save by Salerno. Ty with the rebound. Can't get another shot off. 